pen and ink with texture. Here we have a rather ordinary photograph of a church, but even this can be used to create an interesting effect. First we apply Gaussian Smart Blur, set to a radius value of approximately 8. We are attempting to use this result to create a little halo and edge definition when merging to the original image using the Extrapolate Away merge type. We don't want the result to be too extreme, that is why we are restricting the amount of blur used. We now introduce a gradient map to the effect structure, set as shown, to produce the desired effect. Take a little time to observe. You can see that the gradient map is almost a complete reversal of the default gradient and just black and white are used. The mapping channel is set to brightness, opacity is full on and set at 1, plot and histogram is set to 0. We now introduce texture which is scaled using the change aspect ratio method. The result from the gradient map output is now blended with the scaled texture using the subtract merge type set with opacity full on at 1. Now let's just take a moment to scroll through the other merge type options as there are a number of other effect possibilities available. Typically we add a node that gives users more control over the effect, and in this instance we have chosen the huge saturation and brightness node, which is familiar to you. This node has been set to activate all the slider controls. This viable effect is now ready to publish. It will be interesting to see what effects are published based on this tutorial video. Have fun!